I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And uh, we're just so glad that you've opened the door for us and let us come in to be with you. And we're going to have a good time worshiping the Lord together. And uh, now as we start a new year, we're going to look at the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit gives us guidance and help and strength along the way. So maybe you'd want to call a friend and just say, say, um, why don't you tune us in and see what's going on here? And uh, maybe uh, God will bless you. I'm just sure of that because we're going to preach the Bible. We're reading from uh, John chapter 16. And we're going to be uh, thinking about the work of the Holy Spirit. And in these verses, uh, John 16, verse 7, uh, Jesus talks about the Holy Spirit and that he's going to come and what's going to happen. And this is what Jesus says. Um, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For I go, if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. Of sin, because they believe not on me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father and ye see me no more. Of judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. And we're going to pray, and in our prayer today, we're going to pray for the country of Zaire. Every week, every uh, um, month, we, every month, we, every week we pray for a country, and this will be Zaire. So, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the Holy Spirit of God. We thank you that, um, that he indwells everyone who receives you as, his sa- as their Savior, and that he will be with us forever. He will never leave us and that he will help us and guide us and give us direction. And as we look into your word today, we pray that we'll see how the Holy Spirit helps us in this new year, in this, this journey. We've never been on this year before. We've never been on this trip before. Now it's all new to us, but it isn't new to you. And so we get to lean on you, and the Holy Spirit will be with us every step of the way. He'll guide and direct and encourage and help. So we thank you for your spirit. And Lord, we think about our dear brothers and sisters in Zaire. And uh, we pray for those that are left behind. We thank you for those who are martyred. Those who would not denounce the faith, would not renounce the Savior, and paid for it with their lives. And so we know that they're safe in your care. They're safe in heaven And as St. Paul says, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. It's a gain when we can die. And so we just thank you that they're safe with you. But we pray for those left behind and the struggles and the hardships they'll have. And just encourage and bless them. And Lord, maybe you could come and be done with this thing, with what's going on. And so we put everything into your hands and pray, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.